Working with groups. A group is a defined set of records that belong to the same type of entity and have a common criteria. These criteria can be simple or complex. Let's create a group of software license opportunities that have closed in Europe. Click My CRM Groups and click New Group. Give the group a name and description. Specify that it's a static group based on opportunities. That uses the opportunity search view. A static group stores the query that generated the group and the list of returned records, while a dynamic group stores the query only and regenerates the group contents whenever you open the group. Let's make the group available to all users. You need Info Manager rights to select this option. Click Continue. Sort the group on Company Name and choose to create an advanced find to specify the group search criteria. Click Continue. Then choose the first field in your search criteria and click Add. Choose the operators, values, and and or clauses for the field. Repeat these steps to add the remaining fields to the search. In this example, opportunity type must equal license. Opportunity certainty is 100%, and opportunity territory is Europe. Click Continue to display the list of group member records. Click Save. Next, you'll send a mass email to the group. Click New Email and create an email telling the recipients about a free WebEx that will help them install their new licenses. Click Send Email. The emails are sent to each contact in the group. You now have a snapshot of the recipients that you emailed. You can export information about group members to a CSV or text file for use in other applications. You use groups to perform a mail merge or create a task for all members of the group. And you use groups to add contacts to a MailChimp list. For more information about MailChimp, check out our video, Working with MailChimp and Sage CRM. Groups save you time and effort when working with your contacts.